Hey, what's up? It's Swamp. Back for another tutorial. Okay, in this one what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a swing using a physics joint. So I built this swing. Uh, it's an uber ramp and scaffolding polding, scaffolding pole and uh, metal pipe extension actually, that's what it is. So I used three of those, put them together and use the short variation and the longer variations to make this swing. So what we need to do now is we need to glue this together to make it swing. So we're going to glue these objects together and you see it puts the pivot point in the middle so we want to select the pivot and we want to move it up to that where we want the swing to swing from the axis of the swing. So here we go and so now you see our swing swings turns like it should. Okay, so now we need a physics joint. So we're going to go to common physics tools, physics joint. Okay, so now we want to set this to a rotational hinge, single axis. We need simple properties. So like the first target is going to be something that's not the swing, anything in the world that's not got physics turned on to it. And then the second target is going to be the swing. Okay, so now we want to disable collision. You want to select your pivot, and now this is going to be the, the direction of the rotation. So we want to change this to be like that. So it rotates like it should. Okay, so now I want to adjust this swing, set it back a little bit so it'll start swinging when the, when the router gets close to it. All right, so now uh, we need to turn the physics on on this object so that it will work. So now let's test it, and you see that it doesn't really move. It's not really swinging very fast, and that's because of the pivot point of this glued object. So what we need to do is we need to move it. I set it there to rotate it, but now we need to move it back to bring the center of gravity back down here to give it the momentum it needs to swing. So we bring that back down. That changes the center of gravity on this glued object, and now when you hit play, it swings like a swing should swing. So, all right, so now let's test it out and see how it works. You got to time it, right? There we go. All right, so that works pretty good. And you can ride it if you want. It's a physics object, so you can ride it as a swing. So if you could get up to... <laughs> can't get up high enough but all right so yeah so you see it's pretty cool it works out really well so all right so now um, most of the time you just this is just gonna start swinging when you get to it because the physics bubble won't allow things to happen physics to happen until the riders close and that keeps it from tearing the screen and, and render problems and stuff like that but if you wanted to actually physically turn the physics on with this I'll show you how to do that all right, so I would use a hit trigger, I mean an area trigger. So we're gonna grab an area trigger, put it down wherever you want the physics to turn on. It's not gonna turn on if you're further than the physics bubble away anyway, but it will be on when you get there. So, all right, so anyway, grab a physics event, select event target is gonna be that glued group. And now with the area trigger, you're gonna send the hit impulse on hit go to the physics event and turn that on. So it works pretty much the same now that it did before. So you see that's pretty cool. All right, so now um, that's pretty much it. That's how, that's, how, that's how you do it. You can, uh, like I said, you could just leave the physics turned on on this object and when the rider gets close, it'll start swinging. If this is the beginning of the track, you can uh, turn the physics off by just setting this to off once the rider leaves so you could put an area trigger up here and turn off the physics on this to, to you know keep the optimization up and stuff for your tracks but anyway that's how you do it thanks for watching and have a good time